taking photographs is forbidden. Appropriate action will be taken and may result in your removal from the site. Just to let you know, site security are on the way in the room. All right, yeah, yeah, no worries. Spoke to him yesterday. Yeah. It's a, I'm assuming it's a, it's a nature reserve or? Oh, it's all lorries and everything going in and out. Oh, we just work, we've just come from the north east, but we've just stayed for a couple of days. Oh, all right, where have you come from? Pardon? Where have you from? Durham. Oh, my daughter lives in Durham. All right, whereabouts? Pity me. Yes. <laughs> Aye, I know it very well. Aye. Yeah. Nice, nice town. Yeah, oh, nice Durham's gorgeous. I love it up there. Aye, beautiful. Aye. That scenery's marvellous and all. Uh, not a lot of people know about the cathedral and the castle and everything. No. But it's a case of uh, we always try and promote the place. People go from London to York, Edinburgh, and they bypass us. Yeah, or oh, they go up to Newcastle. Oh, don't. I'm a Sunderland supporter. Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, how long are you down here for? Uh, just a couple of more days. Yeah. Just putting a bit of fencing up. All right. What's your name? Pardon? What's your name? My name? Yeah. Bruce. Bruce? Yeah. All right, mate. All right, mate. Have you got me on video? Yeah, you'll be going on YouTube. Oh, very good. Right. Right. But I've got to put somebody from Durham on YouTube, you know. <laughs> Apart from my daughter. All right, cheers. All right, there. You do, you're a Durham lad and all. No, I'm from Sunderland. Oh, you're from Sunderland? Oh, how do you get on with a lad from Durham then? His father-in-law. It is what? Oh, you've got to go on with him then. Anyway, as I was saying, around the back of the uh, Amazon depot, we've just been talking to those people and the gardeners now while they're putting fencing up. There's this thing called iPort Rail. No idea where it is. There's loads of containers going in and out. So, uh, Let's go and have a look at it. Whether they fetch them on the lorries here and then they get loaded onto trains and things, I have no idea. But uh, we'll go and have a look. It's called Iport Avenue anyway. Um, let's go and check it out, shall we? So no unauthorised vehicles beyond this point. And if the gatehouse is occupied, please park in the marked bays. There you go. Right, let's have a walk round. We'll stick to the footpath and then uh, hopefully people can't say it to me. But we'll find out sooner or later, won't we? So, less CO2 by rail. Still bars. And they look like uh, Demountable curtain ciders or containers with curtain sides. And then we've got some Tesco's, Tesco units. Some are just trailers, some have got the tractor units on. Oh, we've got a big crane there picking containers up. That is a big unit. I'm not, to, I'm not seeing these for quite a while, mind you. I haven't done any container work for, oh, it must be 20 odd years. So let's see if we can get any video of them operating, shall we? There you go, look at that. Pick that container up. I think this is going to be interesting if we can get to see any of these machines running. Unless security is going to come out and spit the dummy out. But I'm on a public footpath, so I don't see what the problem is. Alright, so there you go. Look at these machines designed specifically for uh, picking containers up. There you go, look.
Michael from gaining footage over the fence. Yes, mate. Uh, have a guess. Well, who do you work for? Uh, myself. Right, you're not allowed to film on site. I'm not on site, mate. I'm on the footpath. This is, this is, we own this the full site. You what, sorry? We own the full site. It's our site. You own the full site? Yeah. I only want some videos that big uh, lifts going with containers on, that's all. Right, why is that? Because there's, there's something there, there, Mike. Because what, sorry? Are you, are you filming me now? Yeah. Right. Right, I don't give, I don't give you the consent to film you right now. Alright, okay. No. If we have an interaction, I'm recording it, mate. For your safety and for mine, like they say in the shops and things. You've got video cameras up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Are you recording me? Sorry? Are you recording me? Yeah, but this... Alright, well I'd like you to stop recording me then. You're trespassing on our property. <laughs> I haven't seen a sign that says it's private property, I've only seen it says private parking. There's nothing that says it's private property. Right. Okay. Alright. One parked in the way, let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Now the way these work is in each corner they've got like a... I don't know, it's not... Well it is a clamp. But it fits in the holes in the top of the container and then it's a, a twist, so it's like a twist lock. So it'll fit in the hole in the top of the container, so then it'll twist and then it'll pull it tight so that they can't come out. And then they were able to lift. Like I say, I've not operated these machines, but I have, uh, I have actually seen them at work. Can you read, mate? You what, mate? Can you read, yeah? What's, the, what's that? Can you read? I think so, yeah. I went to school. Yes or no? Can you read? Yes or no? I went to school, yeah. Can you read? Yes or no? You're being a bit rude. Can you read? Yes or no? You're being a bit rude. Carry on, make your point. Side rules. Right? Read all that. Right? Do not use your mobile phone when driving. I'm not using a mobile phone when driving. Always display past the other gates over the door. Always use that device. Yeah, yeah. I have a safety foot where I must be worn, yeah. I can read the bit where at top where it says site rules, but I'm not on site. Outside, I'm on a footpath, mate. It's not a site, it's our site, from that, to, from that roundabout onwards down here. Well, it doesn't say that. If it had said it, I'd have been able to read it, because I can read. Oh, you can read? Yeah, 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 I've explained that to you, that I did go to school. So you need to believe it anyway? Right, OK. OK. All right, so there you go. Can you read, OK? Doncaster Intermodal Freight Services. Now, intermodal means different forms of transport, whether it be vehicles, trains, boats, ships, aeroplanes, anything that gets moved from one to the other, like, uh, like that, is classed as intermodal. Uh, and they've got big secure gates to stop people coming in and out, which I'm not obviously not gone through and I'm stood on a footpath. Do not use your mobile when driving. Don't say anything about using your mobile when walking. Hey, up there. Taking photographs is forbidden. Appropriate action will be taken and may result in your removal from the site. Just to let you know, site security are on the way in the room. All right, there. yeah, no worries. Spoke to him yesterday.
Did you have to read that out to me because I can't read? Site security around the way. So it looks like we've got a couple here queuing up to go in. They're local. Got to be, it says Yorkshire on it, and we're in Yorkshire. Right, so we've just had a word with the, uh, the driver. His name's Daryl. And he says he don't mind if we uh, take a bit of video in, of his vehicle. Now what I want to have a look at while I'm here is how these containers fasten on the back of the trailer. Now these trailers, you can make them longer or shorter to cover the different sizes of the containers. But if you look here and look inside there, you've got like a, a T-bar and the T-bar goes through the hole in the bottom of the container and then you lock it off. And then when it comes time to lifting it up, what you do is you unlock it and the con whole container lifts off. Down here... These are movable. So this container here, or this trailer here, will stretch to whatever side you need to accommodate the container that's on there. And there you go, you've got another bracket on there and that arm there lifts over to uh, accommodate the length of the trailer. Trailer, I keep saying. Container. And then when you pack it all up, you can make it shorter, which makes it a bit easier for going round roundabouts and things like that. If you're not carrying a lot of weight, it just makes it a little more difficult to uh, reverse with a shorter trailer. Depends what you're going to do. If you're going to drop one container off and then pick another one up half an hour or an hour later, I wouldn't bother. I'd just leave it at that length. But they're, uh, they're very, very flexible. And here you are, look. Here's another container. And there's in a trailer. I'm getting my, t getting my tongue tied up. And as you can see, this one's all set ready. I don't know what length this is set for, what trailer length, uh, container length this is set for. But they're all set for different, uh, different lengths. And different uh, locking attachments on there, look. So you've got some at the front. You've got one there over the legs. You've got two more there. You've got one there and one at the back. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. Seven on each side because there's two at the front. Look. So what size are you set up for now? What size container? What size container are you set up for? Yeah. Yeah, this. How long? 40. 40? Yeah, 40 high cube. All right, 40 high cube. Yeah? yeah. yeah? It's, uh, for next. Where have you come from? Have you travelled far? Next, next, uh, there's close to uh, uh, A1. Right. There's uh, Emsal Way, Emsal Drive. Oh, Emsal? Yeah, Emsal, yeah. All right. So I've just come from there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now. Just here is a beautiful um, shirt, yeah, like you see, but uh, just a um, clear container. Yeah. In maritime, uh, normal time, Wakefield. Yeah. Uh, there was a. I, I take it you're going to pick a container yeah, up? Yeah, th th this, is, this is a uh, Junction uh, 31 from M62. Oh, that's where you're going? Uh, yeah, and I uh, was uh, in the waiting area. I arrived 11 and four hours spent to uh, lift up this container. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, where yeah. you where you from? You're Polish? Yeah, Polish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. a good job, not so bad, but like you see. Yeah, container jobs aren't bad actually. It's for, yeah, it's for lazy people. Many time you uh, waiting for lift off, lift on, and sometimes 
not sure. Uh, we working on the next. Yeah. The next, yeah. And on the next, we got a short drive. But many times we need, we, we waiting for a, a decision. What next job? And in this uh, rally port. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Um, I did a video at next. Oh, about a month ago. Yeah, big place. Right, so there you go. That's the iPort, whatever it's called. iPort rail. And we've had a look at some uh, some lorries. Or some trucks, whatever you want to call them. I've not seen security turn up. So, uh, anyway, we're going to head back to the car now. I think we've seen all about, about everything we're going to see here. Right, so, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Oh, I've got that sun behind me, don't want that. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.